Greetings. We're going to be installing a brand new Wow Wow faucet in our brand new kitchen sink. And uh, we really like the looks of it. So typical of the Wow Wow, it's packaged with a set of white gloves right on top. Right here is a notice telling you to flush out the lines. The faucet has a really good warranty on it, but if you do not make sure that those lines are flushed, then the warranty is void. So. I've got the old kitchen sink for demonstration purposes. This would be the most common installation. You've got two bowls and three holes. So, you need to cover those three holes. They have sent you this brushed nickel cover plate. When we're ready to actually do the installation of the faucet, we will put silicone on the bottom of this escutcheon plate here so that it stays in place and doesn't wiggle around and you don't have to worry about water going from the deck down into the cabinet below. See where the O-ring is in the little annular groove on the bottom of the faucet. We want that to make up against the bottom, or the top, pardon me, of this escutcheon plate. I'm going to put this down through the deck. And that's about what it's going to look like. So that makes a nice tight installation. Your options are pretty well open at this point. You can put this valve here on the right side if, if you're right-handed. You can put it in the middle so that it works this way if you're ambidextrous. If you're left-handed, you can put it over on this side of the sink. Okay, we're ready to put the, uh, you have to imagine yourself upside down here. Either that, or make sure your sink is out of the cabinet. We're going to put in this bolster, which moves the force around. The next thing on top of the bolster is a rubber washer, which acts as a shock absorber. Spread that down. Next is a stainless steel washer, which takes the force of the jam nut. It goes over like that. And last but not least is the jam nut. So it goes over the tubes, over the supply tubes, and down, and then gets threaded on to the, uh, the threaded tube. And that should go just about like that. All right, we're working on a nice solid surface now. It's not going to jiggle around too much. I've managed to get this jam nut down onto the thread tube as uh, Far as possible and we're just going to bring these up a little bit on one side a little bit on the other side a little bit on the other side a little bit over on this side and we're just bringing it up so that it comes square putting the force on evenly front and back we're going to check to make sure that the faucet's in exact the valve is exactly the right position. I've got it pointed straight out and we want to make sure that these are both the escutcheon plate is lined up. There'll be a little bit of silicone that's going to squeeze out here. We're going to put the supply tube. So this is the one that actually goes to the the uh, nozzle and we're going to feed it in here. So we'll do this largely by finger. There is a rubber washer down in that fitting. And then with 
with the adjustable wrench set to the right fitting. There are two flats on the side of this coupling here. So we just bring this around and make sure that it goes on there nice and easy. And we're just going to give it a quarter turn. You heard it squeak. This is a supply tube that goes up to the nozzle. So you will end up putting a weight on it. So this, this comes apart, once again, with Phillips screwdriver. Take this apart. There's two separate stainless steel screws on here. There's one. The other. This is going to go on to the supply tube and we'll tighten it back up again. These are the supply lines that will go to the bibs where your water comes out of the system. So we have the red flag on the hot water line. You simply screw that in. Started. Okay, and it's it's got a really nice O-ring on it. So once again, you're not really torquing things down super hard. You're just putting a little bit of pressure on that line. Once we get it installed, there's the blue. This is for the cold water. Everything is tagged, so there's no mix-up. That's all there is to it. We're now ready to put this sink into the cabinet. I'll put a quarter to turn, take a, pair, take a pair of pliers, and just give this a quarter of a turn. And that's all you'll need to keep it waterproof. A quarter turn here, and you're ready to go. You can come out now. Oh, God, I'm so happy about that. I'm so glad to be out from underneath there. <laughs> All right, good enough. The special feature of this faucet is this new blade, which is supposed to, uh, is designed to clean plates and things like that off in the dishwasher. You can control the amount of volume that's going to the blade just by an amount of compress and you can get full force and you can just get a little tiny bit. And that's how it works.